Hey guys, this is the mind of Lilith and thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be sharing my thoughts about a story that I read yesterday about this major league baseball player named Tim Anderson who got his mistress pregnant while he was separated from his wife. And this is a similar to the Martell and Arion story. So apparently Tim Anderson um, is a major league baseball player for a team in Chicago. He's been sleeping with this lady, uh, Deja Lene, for, I don't know, a few months at the very least. And he was separated from his wife because he's known to be a whore. Um, but, you know, he has lots of money. He makes millions of dollars. He's one of the stars of major league baseball. Very young, in his 20s, very attractive, in the peak of his physical health, with millions of dollars in the bank right so he got separated from his wife or he was separated whatever on break and so he started a, a sexual relationship with Deja Lene I he probably started before he separated from his wife but um you know after some time apart uh Tim went back to his wife and the wife posted a picture of her and her husband together on social media and a few hours later Deja posts a picture of her pregnant belly on social media as if to say, yeah, he came back to you, but now we have a permanent tie. He got me pregnant. So what happened was Tim Anderson, like Martell, separated from his wife, started a sexual relationship with a woman who grew to have feelings for him, right? Who wanted him all to herself, but he hasn't, he hadn't officially divorced. He didn't want to divorce his wife. He just wanted to sow his wild oats. He knew that Deja was not wife material for him. He knew he was just using her for sex. Deja has children by two different men, I think, or she has two other children. So why would a man who left his wife, who has two of his kids, leave his wife to be with somebody with two children? A lot of these mistresses don't understand that they are convenient orgasm for these men a lot of women don't understand who are mistresses that their boyfriends who are married are looking for an escape from the humdrum and predictability of married life most men don't enjoy marriage the same way women do marriage is convenient for men right men like having um, a home base to have their feelings nurtured their ego stroked. There's some level of consistency in their lives that grounds these men. They value that, but they don't appreciate the boredom that comes with it. So these side pieces get enamored by these men with all this money. Who's a, you know, Tim is, is attractive. He's a, he's a handsome man. Okay. Handsome, very young in his twenties with tens of millions of dollars in guaranteed money in baseball. Okay in a city of women or in a, uh, you know, in a culture of women or in a community of women who see him as, who would see him as a potential lick or a potential bag, right? So he's handsome and he has money. Of course, women are going to try to trap him with a baby. Of course. So this brings me to my point about regulated polygamy. And my statements may be controversial because I talk about women leaving abusive dusty men all the time not putting up with abuse in relationships not allowing yourself to be manipulated by men who ain't shit so on so forth right however in this situation right and then in many different instances these men are going to cheat not all men with money are going to cheat but more than likely if you are worth millions of dollars and you are surrounded by venus flytrap vagina women who see you as a, a potential come up financially and you're attractive and you're young and you're playing a sport, you're in the peak of your physical health, you're away from home most of the year, of course you're going to cheat. It's not always the case, but these men cheat a lot, right? So my premise is if the wife controls this cheating situation, if she's the one who chooses the mistresses, Will these men be in better situations? And this is why I said this. 
So a lot of times, men are really stupid with their penises. They will cheat with someone who hates their wife. They will cheat with someone who's jealous as a woman. They will cheat with someone who's vindictive and nasty and bitter. And as a result, when you cheat with someone who's bitter and nasty and vindictive, they're going to attack your wife. And attacking the wife is destroying your home and foundation and where your children are living. So because men are too stupid to choose a mistress that is at least respectful, at least nurturing and loving and, you know, compassionate towards children and other women, because they're too dumb to choose wisely when it comes to a sexual partner, right? That is not their wife because they choose mistresses that are different from their wife. Melody and Ariana are different personalities. So Martel chose somebody who was vindictive, vicious, nasty, manipulative, jealous, and that destroyed his family because now women, Melody and Arion can't even come together as women to say, let's raise these kids together. Even though my man ain't shit and it wasn't your fault that he cheated, right? In a sense, um, let's raise these children together. They should know their brother or their sibling, whatever. She can't even do that because Arion's energy is toxic and competitive. And I talked about this the other day when, he, when it comes to competitive women, you cannot have competitive women around other women because they're going to try to destroy those women. So if your side pieces are competitive, they're going to try to compete with the wife and destroy your family unit. And men don't understand this. They don't understand that by cheating, they're destroying their family. Not because the woman is so insecure and jealous, she can't handle it, right? It's because you are cheating with women who are thoughts, who are competitive, who put men on a pedestal, who will try to attack the wife, who hate the wife for having something that they want. This wife, Bria, was married to Tim before Deja even knew who he was. She had two babies with a whole nother man, or other men, I think. I don't know how many baby fathers she has, but she had a whole nother situation going on recently. All of a sudden now, you're so in love with my husband that you need to have a baby by him and you feel entitled to him. So what happens is these mistresses, they get spiteful and vindictive when the husband goes back to his wife after he's finished using her for her body, right? So they wanna hurt the man by saying, you know what, since you wanna use me for sex, I'm gonna tell your wife what you were doing with me while you were separate from her. I'm gonna try to destroy your family, right? And then the man may go to the wife and say, she just trying to destroy our family, no. You helped her do this. These dumb men give the jealous mistresses and side pieces the ammunition to try to destroy their wives. And then they go back to the wife and say, don't listen to her. She's trying to destroy our family. It's about me and you. I was just using her for sex. But now there's a baby involved. So now this lady is, 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 is being enriched by my husband's money. Now this woman who hates me, she has a child who's a half sibling of my children. Now there's a soul tie between two different bloodlines that are not compatible. So now you're bringing strife and confusion and conflict into your home by having a mistress who doesn't respect your wife, who wants to be the wife, who will try to destroy the wife. And this is why I said, I think that if you're married to a man who's making millions of, not some dusty dude making, you know, whatever, working at Walmart. No, 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 okay. Not somebody making six figures either. That's not enough money. If you're making millions of dollars and you are married to a young, successful man who's attractive and he's going to cheat, why not control that process? Why not choose somebody that is going to be at least friendly, at least nurturing and compassionate and empathetic towards other women? Why not choose a woman that will be an asset to not just the husband, but to the wife and the wife's children? This is not new. In certain cultures, that's how it operates. The first wife chooses the second and third wives because there's a territorial issue here. And because the man wants to compromise, he'll say, you know what? You get to choose the next female who's in this situation and she has to help you with the kids. She has to help you with the cooking and cleaning and child rearing, right? That is how it used to be back in the day before the patriarchy where Men needed women to compete against each other to maintain control over them. So men created their own problem, right? They want to have a bunch of women, but they've created a system that makes women jealous of each other. So now you're not going to have that, 
right? But if women aren't jealous of each other, you have less control over them. So the polygamy situation won't work out the way you think it would, right? So these men designed a system that is working against them. Because in a matriarchy, the women don't mind sharing a suitable male that has good genetics, that is strong, healthy, intelligent, and has lots of money. In the matriarchy, that's not a big that's not a big deal. But in the patriarchy, where women are are have been groomed and conditioned to compete against other women, I want your spot as the wife because there's not enough man for me. I need him to be all to me and for me, or I want him for his money, right? And a lot of women do this. Then they complain about the father not being in the child's life when you use the man for the money. Why would he be emotionally attached to a business transaction? It was a business transaction for you. That's what happened with Carmelo Anthony. He was out here sleeping and dotting, dotting and bobbing with different women. They got pregnant for the bag. Now the women are complaining about him not being in their lives. Don't punish the child for what I did. Ma'am, that's, unfortunately, that's called karma. So now Deja is going to try to one-up the wife by saying, I have his youngest child. I wouldn't be surprised if Bria gets pregnant after this to prove that her husband still loves her. That is what Melody and Arion were going through. Melody would get pregnant and then Arion would get pregnant afterwards to prove that her man, that Mar Martel wants her too. He loves me the same way he loves you. He loves me more than he loves you. I got his baby. So Melody said, okay, you got his baby. You can have him too. And now he don't want you because you're not convenient anymore. Why would he leave a woman who has his children in a nuclear family setting to be with a woman who's in the streets and has his child out of wedlock? That's not convenient for him anymore. You're not fun and sexy anymore. Now that I see your pregnant swollen belly, I'm reminded of what I left at home. You're no longer a convenient slide or a convenient sneaky link. You are now a burden of responsibility. And I just ran away from that. I already had a burden of responsibility at home. So why would I choose you to be my burden of responsibility? Bria is getting her PhD in English, right? She's, she's you know, an educated woman. She's trying to be more than just a wife and a, a wife of a, of a famous athlete. It seems like Deja wants to be a serial baby maker breeder for successful men. Why would I wife that? You were just with another man and love with another man less than a year, two years ago, having his baby. Why would I take you seriously as a wife potential? You can never replace my wife. I chose her for a reason. There's a preference for a wife and a preference for a girlfriend or a side piece. There are no pictures of Tim together with Deja, not in public anyway. He ain't claim her in public like that because that's not what you were there for. You were there as a convenient slide. So now you got feelings. Now you want a baby in the bag by a handsome, rich, successful athlete. You know he's married, but he goes back home to his wife and you're bitter about it. So now you want to antagonize the wife. Aha, uh -huh. I got a piece of your man. I ain't never going nowhere. Your husband is going to make me rich. And that's why these men are so freaking stupid. Because they will allow someone who doesn't like their wife, who doesn't care about their children like that, to destroy their family. And you got to pay this lady <laughs> who helped you to destroy your family. You idiot. So this is why women, in my opinion, should regulate. And they used to regulate the polygamy situation. Other women come in in a circle. Finding out about the woman's temperament, her personality, is she compatible with our dynamic here? Will she respect my hierarchy as the principal first wife? Or will she try to compete and be me and take me off of my throne that I of the kingdom that I've built with my husband and my children? So this is not for women, like I said, who are dating regular nine to five men, men who make six figures or whatever. This is for women who are dating men who are really attractive to a lot of women. Millions and millions of dollars in the bank. As a professional athlete at the highest level of performance and success. He's on the road most of the time. So many women after him. He's very young, he's in his 20s. How do you now make sure 
that if he's going to cheat, you cheat with somebody who is of quality that can add to the family instead of taking away from the family. Now there are two potentially broken families here because if the wife, Bria, files for divorce, he's not going to marry Deja, Lene. She has two kids with somebody else already. So he's not going to marry her either. Now there are two broken families because of a broken penis that got lured by a Venus flytrap vagina woman. And now the wife may think she has something to prove, right? By posting pictures of her and her husband on social media together. See, y'all hoes think you got him, but he always comes home to me, that mentality. Men love marrying women like that. He always comes to home to me kind of women. It don't matter what he does in the streets, he still comes home to me. Even if he smells like another woman's perfume, it don't matter, he's still coming home to me. He's sloppy with it too. He's sloppy and he's comfortable because he knows he's a, he is, listen, he's a lottery ticket. He won the genetic lottery too. Physically attractive, intelligent, athletic, rich, sexy, handsome black man with fame and money. Of course the dots will be out in droves after him. Of course women don't respect each other enough to not get pregnant by a married man or to not sleep with a married man in the first place. Of course not. So let the wife control the situation. Now, I may have this disposition because I have Jupiter in Aquarius in my seventh house. I don't see my partner as my property. Would I be in a polygamous situation? Not with a man who doesn't have no money. He would have to be exceptional for me to accept that. But there are some men who are exceptional in this situation. If I were the wife in this situation and he was insisted on doing this, bring somebody into the fold that can be an asset to the family the way we used to do when we had a matriarchal society. One of my favorite movies was Shaka Zulu. And Shaka Zulu, you know, even though he disrespected Nandi because she had a baby by him out of wedlock, he had like nine wives and they were all together, cool, chilling. They were all family. There was no competition between the women. One of my favorite books when I was a kid was 31 Brothers and Sisters. It was about a king who had a bunch of wives and the children were raised as siblings in the village. These are my favorite stories because it shows women working together and not against each other. And when we work together as a community, we can have stronger villages, but because we're competing against each other, because we want the scraps of men that are left over, we think we have to now destroy other women to get what we think we deserve. We have to stab each other in the back. So it may be controversial, but I don't know if anybody else would agree to this. If you are a woman who's married to a man who's making tens of millions of dollars in the peak of his physical health, and he's cheating crazily, he can't help himself, right? He needs to have that part of himself satisfied, fine. Do you divorce him and break up your family and end up with somebody else who's going to cheat anyway or use you for your money for the payout? Or do you stay with the man and choose the mistresses for him so that he doesn't end up with an Arion or a, what's the name, Deja Lene. It sounds controversial, but it's not that uncommon actually, especially in Muslim countries. This happens all the time. I remember going to the store and this dude said, I got five wives in Pakistan. What up, what Pakistan was, what, where was he at? Lebanon, something like that. He had, he had five wives and they, they all, he laughed, like they're all cool with each other. This is not a foreign concept, but because we're in a patriarchy in the West and we have a scarcity mindset, we think that sharing a man is a bad thing. Now, sharing a broke man is a sin. Absolutely not. Why am I sharing a broke man? That's a liability. But if you have a man making tens of millions of dollars per year in guaranteed money and all your needs are met and there are women who, he, not even women, forget the women. And your husband has a desire for other women because he's out on a roll all the time, because he has high testosterone levels as an athlete. How do you compromise a situation without compromising yourself, right? And it's controversial to say this because I know, you know, I don't think like other people. Am I supposed to? I'm here to open the door for conversations that people are afraid to have. That's my job here. And once that door is open, that will give other people the courage and the confidence to think about things differently, right? So some men have talked about this, but they talk about it from a different perspective of, oh yeah, you know, um, men want a lot of women, but if a woman wants a bunch of men, then that's not the same thing. No, 
Sometimes the wife may want extra penis on the side too, and I'm all for that also. Sorry, I'm all for that too. I support women who are responsible, um, you know, enjoying themselves if their husband isn't pleasing them, especially in the case of women who've been cheated on, right? I wouldn't do it myself, I would just leave, but some women would rather cheat than leave, so I wouldn't judge you for that either. But some of these men, they see it as the ego stroke. Yeah, I want a bunch of women taking care of me. That's the difference. They want the women, like a pimp situation, taking care of the man. That don't work like that. That's not going to work. The man has to have the means to do this, not the broke pimps who need women to take care of them. You don't qualify for this conversation. This is above your pay grade. I'm talking about the men who are actually the providers of tens of millions of dollars and resources for their family. You can actually grow a powerful community and village that way where one man would have three or four wives and those wives would have three kids each. That's 15 children who have access to millions of dollars. That's how you build a king. That's how you build a dynasty and a kingdom and an empire by consolidating assets and not having them scattered hither and yond in different homes with different women and the children don't even know each other. So, like I said, it's controversial. And I'm not sure if I would even do this myself, right? But as in, as I would understand why people would do this. Floyd Mayweather has a whole harem of women because he's taking care of responsibilities. He's taking care of bills. They're not competing with each other like that. They know each other's place in the, in the harem, right? He can take care of them. That's no problem. The problem is when you have these broke dudes having a bunch of women taking care of them. That's not, no. No, I ain't saying that either. I'm not saying even with Melody in her situation, she was the one making the big business move. She was the man in that relationship in a sense. So Martel didn't qualify for that either. That's why it was an issue with Martel because he was not the breadwinner primarily. It was Melody who was the CEO of Holt and Hope. She was the one with the license. She was the one who was, you know, building the company up in a way that Martel could not do. Not to say Martel didn't contribute at all, but Melody was the balls and the brains obviously behind the whole operation. So if she's the, if the woman is doing that and running things in that way, then you don't, you don't, you're not entitled to have another side piece. You're supposed to get your weight up to the point where now your wife doesn't have to work as hard, right? You can make tens of millions of dollars per year and potentially bring someone else in maybe afterwards. But most men don't have the discipline for that. So you don't have the discipline for that. Then you don't deserve to have multiple wives. That's how it works also. It's not universal. You have to be in a certain income bracket to qualify for this. So that, you know, we can reduce the likelihood of a man destroying his family by impregnating a Venus flytrap thought woman who will try to destroy the wife and the family. My primary focus is on protecting the wife and the mother because she's the one who manages the household and the children. If she is not of sound mind, then the family is going to be broken up. The dynamic is going to be off and weird, right? So if the wife doesn't want to leave, because I don't think Bria is going to leave. She might, she might not. I don't know. If she doesn't want to leave and her husband insists on cheating, how about you cheat with somebody or you bring someone else in? who can be an asset to the family, right? Some would call my nanny. I don't even want to call her a nanny, but sometimes nannies are brought in this way. But the husband cheats with the nanny behind the wife's back. That's different. This There has to be transparency here, and the wife has to choose. She has to be given the power in the situation because the mistress is supposed to be benefiting her more than anybody else because the wife is managing the household. So if the wife isn't happy because the mistress ain't shit, then you're ruining the whole situation. This is why the woman has to choose. That's how it used to be back in the day. Even with the pharaohs. The pharaoh's mother chose the wife for the pharaoh. Because women know that men are stupid with their penises. Their penises are ignorant as hell. They will sleep with anything. You cannot bring anything into this family. You're going to destroy what we've built. That's what happened with Martell and Melody. You brought anything into this family and you destroyed it with your toxic penis. Maybe this will give some men the incentive to do better. If you can make millions of dollars a year, you're not a bummy dude, right? You're not hustling backwards or whatever. You're making all this money. 
maybe you too can enjoy multiple wives the way we not you can't do it if you're a pimp no 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 because they don't need you now if these women are dependent on you for financial security and you're providing that to them and the children and you have ample resources i think a lot of women would actually be cool with that but not from the broke dudes no Mm -mm -mm. no 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 sorry not you it is not classes it's just about resources and distribution of resources right if you have a, a man who's broke being taken care of by several women, um, these women don't have the energy, the time, or the wherewithal to nurture their kids. They're too busy working outside the home. And the man ain't going to nurture the kids. How is one man going to nurture 15 kids and all the wives are working at, outside the house? He's going to be out there looking for other wives because he don't want to take care of the kids either. So how about have the women stay at home with the babies and the men bring home all the money and the women can work together. The women who are compatible with each other, who are friends, going shopping together, cooking together, cleaning together, taking the kids to school together. They are a community of women who are married to one man with all these resources and they have their own little homes in the compound, whatever they have it, right? They all have their own little hut situations. They're not living together. They have their own properties on the, this massive estate. And the man, you know, he sees them occasionally and that's it. That's how it used to be back in the day, right? But like I said, the average Joe, that you don't qualify. That's why only kings did this or people who had lots of money and property were allowed to do this. You can't do that if you're a regular farmer. That makes no sense financially. So don't even think it's about you, broke man, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. I look forward to reading you guys' comments. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you soon.